just a little bit too hard to cut. I think I might throw them in the bag and uh, wait till we get down there to cut them up. That's just one side of mullet. Let's see here we've got how many can get one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven. We've got about a dozen nice baits out of that one, so hopefully we can go and turn it into one or two brim. I'll keep those little bits just as straight out as burly. in the afternoon probably can hear the wind but the wind's right in my back we've got a north northwest blowing at probably 20 knots maybe even 25 knots so whenever you got wind like that you definitely don't want to be fishing into it but we'll do our best to uh, fish with the wind today so as you can see I'm casting up there the tide's running out still, the wind's coming from the north, it's going across, and the bait's just drifting down the channel here by itself because it's got a little sinker. That little sinker is just a little O-sized sinker, so it's not going to stop the bait from doing its natural thing, but it will keep the bait down near the bottom, which is where I want to be. That's where the brim are. Oh, okay, now we're on. So there's a little brimbo today, woohoo! We'll cut that off, let it go. Go on like last week's pay. Get this bit of mullet off. It becomes burly. Get a new bit of mullet. Just let that line out a little bit. With the old mullet, it's very, very simple. Just once. Is free from the scales. We've got the run out tide. We're about a half hour, three quarters of an hour away from from dusk, and we're about the same amount of time away from dead low tide. Nice light gear today using a 7 foot 4 Kuma rod and, my, and I'm using the uh, little uh, Akuma Sima bait runner I've got this spool with just 6 pound mono that's a uh, platinum super 100 there's another little touch come on come on come on yes that's a better fish too Come on! They're getting bigger, not much bigger. There's a go 27, 28, nice little brimbo. Caught down here at Hayes Inlet. The reason, the reason I came down to Hayes Inlet today, as you can tell, it is blowing a gale. At 30 knots from the north, there aren't too many places to fish. It's low tide, so I need to be able to walk out to deeper water and uh, Hayes Inlet offers that so I've walked out on the flats today and and landed here at the channel I've had a few casts probably took me 30 minutes to get my first touch put this one back quickly and she's gone The great thing about having these bait runners, it can be used as a normal reel, as I'm doing right now, or in bait runner mode. Bait runner mode, if you bring two rods out here and you set them up in little rod holders, sit in your seat and you want to watch both, put them in bait runner mode, 
and the moment you start to hear that drag, that's the time to pick it up, wind and strike. It's the slightest touch there. Such a timid fish at the moment. Just touching it, just touching it, just touching it. That's a good fish. Very good fish. Number three, nice fat brim this one, probably around 28, 29 centimetres. We just get the hook out. Very tight, very tidy fish. So, caught on the Akuma gear. Oh, just love this stuff down Hayes Inlet. Number one, actually it's a 1-0 mustard beak. Above it, a little sinker, it's a size zero sinker. We've got six pound mono. Uh, the mono is a platinum super 100. Um, that's all the way through, so it's not just a leader, that's all the way through on the spool. I got a feed if I wanted it, but uh, today we're not keeping the feed, we're letting them go. So uh, we'll put this one back. Don't. That ends another session. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button for me, it helps the channel. If you want to see some more videos, hit the su subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care. So for you guys sitting at home thinking, way too windy to go fishing, it isn't. It's never too windy to go fishing. You just got to pick the right spot. If it's blowing 50 knots and the wind's coming from your back, it just means you'll cast further. Fish don't care how windy it is.